Hey guys, you know, sort the Freedom Astrologer once again here, and I'm doing um, another one of those on the go videos. And I think this one is uh, quite an important topic that I've been kind of going deeper within myself as well. So it's about a lot about internal fulfillment and external fulfillment. Now, how this currently is set up in our current um, society is that I feel something missing inside. I feel some sort of emptiness inside of myself. You know, it can come from a lot of places. Sometimes it's childhood, sometimes it's, it's something else. But I have this kind of emptiness that I need to get filled. And immediately the attention usually right now goes to the outside. So. You know, very often for men, it's like money and power. I feel this kind of, um, I don't feel like a man. I don't feel empowered. So I need to go out there and create a lot of money, wealth, power. Uh, maybe sometimes, you know, very negatively uh, control over others. You know, with women, it, it's very often, you know, I need to go out there to be more appreciated, a bit, to, be, to get more attention to myself. But again, it's a very similar pattern of people really wanting to fulfill some need, some sort of hole internally. But this is how we're going about it. We're, we're immediately pointing our attention to the outside. So this is, this is quite an important um, misunderstanding. And I think it's important to understand that we're right now doing this. I, so once again, to be really clear, I feel some emptiness inside, inside, and instead of turning inside and, and dealing with it, I go out there and start creating something that in my mind, in my usually mind, gives me the, the idea that it will give me that fulfillment or it will fulfill that emptiness inside or it will fulfill that need that I have inside. So you can, I think most of you can already start to understand that this isn't usually how we fulfill our needs or, or, or even to go even further, a lot of weird things can happen there. For example, we can start, you know, living lives that really don't make sense to us. We, we, we are living lives that make sense to um, someone else and to our kind of like, um, Maybe the mind who's who's not thinking as, as clearly as, as it could be. So it can lead to a lot of you know weird situations in, in in the sense of I'm doing and I'm living I'm doing something that I really don't like, but I'm doing it because I think it will help me fulfill some need internally. Or I'm living somebody else's idea of, of fulfillment because they have portrayed it, they have lived it, and they gave me the idea that it would might you know fulfill my internal needs as well now i'm going to now flip it and also kind of uh, show you the the the, the more um, wholesome way of doing it <laughs> I, I don't have a better word for it or the the better way of of doing it that is more aligned with what you're actually wanting to do in life now when you discover something internally, some sort of um, emptiness inside of you, and, and, and you can also discover it by, you know, having this very strong urge to just go out there and start doing something somebody else is already doing there. This is kind of like the first clue. There's so some urge that I need to get money. I need to get da 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 da. I'm not no. I'm not vilifying money or power. I'm just saying that sometimes these intense urges for those external things, positions, power, positions in, in society, you know, high positions, some, some, very often these urges are actually showing us the emptiness that is lying or still dormant inside and we're, we're already going there. We're go already going out there. Now, instead of turning our attention outside it's a matter of of turning our attention inside so most of that emptiness most of those sensations 
need to be fulfilled and need to be met, need to be understood, need to be released even in some cases internally. So there are a lot of ways you can do it. Obviously meditation, you know, you're, you're doing it yourself. You're going in, you're, you're, you're meeting that, those spaces yourself. So you're, you're understanding what's there. You're, you're giving yourself the actual presence, the fulfillment that you actually require. Now, obviously, you know, a lot of times you need external help. You need even, you know, healers, you need energy healers to kind of help you see those spaces, see and clear those spaces. You need therapists, some deeper therapists who can, you know, work with energy as well. And they can see into those, um, you know, crack holes, cracks that, that are there, that are kind of leaking energy. Um, and together you can also, you know, meet these spaces and once you start meeting these spaces, and this is where the kind of like the magic starts happening, because once you meet those spaces, these very weird, strong urges start to actually turn into presence. And presence in the present moment, present in your body, not looking to get something outside from the outside, not looking to feel some sort of emptiness from those fulfilled places you can actually start doing the things that you want to create now this is a very I think the most important piece in this video there's a huge difference when you create in the world from a space of I need to do that in order to get myself full or the other way is I'm already full I can now start creating things that I actually desire and come from a, from that full space. The actual difference between or be even behind that desire, behind that energy is tremendous. It's immense. It's, it's, you know, you can feel it. Other people can feel it. So it's a, it's a very, very important distinction. I think we need to start making it. It's, it's um, one we need to, you know, even start noticing at first and then making that shift and making that turn internally. So guys, I hope this helps, uh, you know, meet those spaces, get really clear on what it is that's actually there. What, why are you doing these things? What are those cracks? actually showing you release heal full, full make them full in a way and um, then the creation starts being um, you know it, it, it really starts from a different kind of space a more deep more whole space it's more enjoyable it's it's also even like you can feel you're more on your purpose you're on your path this is actually what this, all, this is all about as well. It's, be, it's about being on your real path, not on somebody else's path, not so, doing something you think you should be doing. Thank you guys for listening, watching, you know, also the Freedom of Stroller out for now. See you again soon.